Hey, what's going on, my friend? NT Izuchi here, your internet marketing coach and mentor, uh, and welcome to this video. Now, before I get started, I just want to say, uh, don't mind the cardigan and don't mind the button-up shirt. I'm not trying to get fancy on you guys. I'm actually heading out on after I shoot this video to meet with a couple here in Boston um, who recently just joined my personal coaching program. Okay, Adam and Bianca. Okay, they actually run a gift basket shop um, out here in Boston. So shout out to you guys for joining the coaching program and uh, much success to you moving forward. But anyway, I had to shoot this video to take care of my family, my internet marketing friends out there. Um, you ever wonder how to really start to optimize your emails, okay, for higher click-through rates, right? It's one thing to get the email open, right? That's like half the battle, but actually get people to click through because a lot of people assume that, oh, someone's going to, if someone opens the email, they're, also, they're obviously going to click through and go to your video, your blog post, whatever it is that you're sending them to. And that is just not the case, okay? And I'm always tweaking and testing and showing you guys results and things like that so that you guys can better your business. At the end of the day, that's what it comes down to, okay? The more people you can help, hey, the more money you'll make in the at the end, okay? And so basically what I want to do is show you um, just a few tweaks that you can start making to your emails, okay, in order to get more click-throughs. And I'm going to show you two examples, okay? Um, so here's one example of an email that I sent out um, actually just yesterday. And this had an incredible click-through rate, okay? It was somewhere close to it was like 28 or 29 percent now they may seem like it's small but let's think about it if you're sending out an email to 100 people that's 30 people who just saw your email okay and as you scale up right that's just more and more people and that's just always gonna how it's always gonna be you'll never get a hundred percent uh, click-through rate or 80 percent 90 percent unless you're like you know you just got some magic fairy dust you're sprinkling on your emails okay but for the most part most people won't have those high click-through rates so here are just a few tweaks, actually a couple tweaks that you really need to put uh, into your emails. So you can see here, okay, one thing that I always do when I'm creating my emails is I always use the person's name in the first uh, sentence of the email just to make it more personalized and also do that as well in the headline. Now, I'm not saying this is the best email headline and I'm always tweaking, testing and doing different things, right? But this one had a high open rate and, and, and a really high click through rate, okay? For, you know, industry standards, okay? So one thing I would say is make sure you put that, use that person's name if you're collecting names when you're generating leads, okay? That's really, really important. And another thing that is really, really important important that I wasn't doing before when I first got started was using multiple calls to action in your uh, in your email and by calls to actions I literally mean just hyperlinking words right now as you can see here this is about one two three four paragraphs right so I have about three or four hyperlinks here right now what you don't want to do is have them all congested and jumbled up but what you want to do is you want to put it on standout sentences or standout words right so right here it says generate a crap ton of leads okay and right here it says getting people into your funnel and meaning your sales funnel and right here it says in this video meaning there's going to be a video I also have here where it says click play and then I took a screenshot of the video that is there and I literally put this uh um this play button on there and if you guys have been on my email list you'd be following me on my social platforms and things like that I showed you guys uh, a quick tool using social I think it's no, not social monkey it's a uh, pick monkey where you can create this play button right and it looks like a play button now there are two things that got really high click. Actually, a lot of these got multiple clicks, but the one that got the, the most clicks was this video, was this image right here, because it looked like a video and it had this arrow. It's just a it's just a call to action. It's very clear what I want you to do on this if you're opening my emails. And this one got a ton of click throughs. Altogether, there was about a 30, 28, 29, 30 percent click through rate. And mind you, I got this click through rate um, just maybe four or five hours okay after I uh, after I sent it out now I'm not counting you know you know ten hours after I sent out the email or even a day after I sent the email it actually probably would have been even higher okay but these are just really really good results here okay and so these are things that you should really should be putting in your emails okay the uh, hyperlinking multiple words in your text okay because get that gets people to click they, they they're wondering okay is this different than this one or is this or is this um, hyperlinked word or words going to take me somewhere to differently than this one. So it gets people kind of like, w -w -w you know, what's in this email and they will start to click. Okay. Now I want to show you an example of another email that I sent that had some success, but I could have easily made some tweaks to it. I'm going to disappear for just a second here and come back. Now if you scroll on the screen, the big difference here is the white space. Okay. It's these 
sentences or, or these paragraphs are kind of jumbled up and it's a little bit hard to read. And the more jumbled up it was, it makes it look like these hyperlinks are really, really close together. And I don't know, it just doesn't look as attractive, in my opinion, as this one. This email looks a little bit easier to read, okay? And so again, the reason why I'm showing you this isn't just to put stuff out there. Guys, this is the stuff that you need to be concentrating on when you're email marketing, right? It's full circle. It's not just Facebook, okay? If you're just dolly lagging on Facebook all day, people, you know, want to see what you got going on and they're going to look at your links and stuff like that. And most people won't buy on the spot. So that's why I always tell you guys, create content so you can continuously, you know, validate yourself that you're actually here to stay and that you're here to give value and you're the right person to join, whether it's an opportunity or you're selling a product, whatever have you. Okay. And so this one was a little bit more jumbled up. I did hyperlink, but I could have worked on the white space in between it. Okay. And of course this one right here got a lot of uh, clicks because they have my two beautiful sisters here of course all right so anyway i hope that you got some value from this i actually put together a uh, a, a checklist an email marketing checklist that incorporates this and many other um aspects that are really really helping me grow uh my subscribers list and also get more people clicking on my blogs and my videos and things like that so they can get to know me more get some of the information so that i can be known as the source of information so when it comes time to join an opportunity buy a product hey listen you know, people are going to start opening up, you know, their uh, credit cards. Okay, so if you're actually interested in that and you got some value from this, head over to emailchecklist.withnt.com. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a downloadable PDF document of all the things that I incorporate into my emails. Okay, every single time I send out an email. But not only that, I give you that downloadable checklist. And there's also going to be a video of me walking you through that checklist. Okay, step by step, telling you what's on it, why they're there. More importantly, why they work. Okay, why are these things helping me get higher click through rates? So again, email checklist.withnt.com, my friend, and I guarantee you, you will get some, um, some value from that and you will enjoy that short presentation. Okay, I'll see you there in just a second. Ciao for now.